Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Prolux wet dry garage vac. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's get this open. Okay, so we have a note here saying if you have any issues, contact Prolux. So here's this paper here. It talks about the features, gives a little background on the company. It talks about the assembly, care and maintenance, common troubleshooting. Here we have the instruction manual. So this has safeguards and such. So you'll want to read through all of this. So here are the different components. We have faceplate, power switch, wet dry hose inlet, blower hose outlet, power cord, slots, power cord hook, dirty tank handles, dirty tank, dirt viewing window. Here we have the accessories, it has a 32 foot hose. So that's going to be able to reach all around your car without having to move the vacuum. Hose holder, extension wands, accessory tool caddy, multi-surface floor tool, wet pickup squeegee floor tool, crevice tool, upholstery tool, extraction shampoo or suction tool, three sizes of detailing inflator tools, long detailing precision blower tool, wall mounting bracket, screws, mini head with spinning roll brush, frayer washer. Here we have the assembly instructions. This talks about mounting it on a wall. So it has a mount for the vacuum and a mount for the hose. This talks about using it. This talks about vacuuming liquids. This is after you vacuum liquids, keep the appliance running for three minutes. Also keep the tubes on to eliminate any liquid spills. It has a blower mode. It has details here on using the different tools. This talks about how to shampoo. So it has this sprayer tool. So you can spray the shampoo onto your surface and then you can vacuum it up. It talks about cleaning and maintenance of the vacuum, washing the HEPA filter, troubleshooting, and here's the warranty. So here's the mounting bracket, and it's very heavy duty steel. Here's the hose. This is the end that goes in the vacuum. This is the end you suck with, and it has a curvature on it, and it has a suction adjuster here. And here we have the vacuum itself. So the accessories are in these bags. I'll get all these out and we'll go over them in a minute. Here's our mounting hardware. And here's the vacuum. So I'm going to read over the manual. I'll find a place to mount this, and then I'll demonstrate it. Okay, so I wanted to come down here to my bench so I could get a more detailed view of the accessories. So it comes with this hose mount. So you wrap the hose around here. You can hang the accessory bag under it. Here's the accessory bag. In here we have the long blower tool. And this tool is about 15 and a half inches long. We have two of these extensions. I'll get my tape measure out here. So that's 19 inches. And of course those are overlap when you press them into each other. But it gives you a rough idea how big they are. Here we have the extractor tool. So you use this for shampooing to suck the water out of the carpet. This is the wet pickup floor squeegee. So this has a brush on it, has rollers on the side, and this looks like a natural hair fiber. And then it has this squeegee here, so you can squeegee up water. So that'll be really nice in the winter time when we get melted snow in the garage. We have these small detail tools or inflators, so you can inflate things with these, or you can blow dust out of tight spaces. Here's crevice tool. This is the multi-surface floor tool. So here we have it flat. We press in on this and the brushes come out like so. Here are two brushes. This one has synthetic fibers. This one has natural fibers. So these are very soft. So you can clean upholstery with these. This is the Suds Gun sprayer washer. So it blows out here and you put your cleaning liquid in here. And this is the mini head with spinning brush roll. So this uses the vacuum power to power the brush here. As you can see, there are many accessories here which makes this vacuum very versatile. Okay, so I have the vac mounted on the wall. I have the hose and accessory storage over here and I just screwed this to a cabinet, but I'm planning on removing these cabinets one of these days and I'll reorganize it at that point. So the waste bin is on the bottom here. I can pull the handles up to unhook it. Lifts out like so. I currently have the hose attached to the bottom. That's the suction connection. So I'm going to demonstrate this on my car. I'll demonstrate the different features. But the first thing I want to do is connect it to the blower. Now there are some flats here on the hose. So I want to turn that horizontally, stick it into the blower and then rotate it. And that will lock it in place. Like so. So now we'll head over to my car and test this out. The first tool I'll be using is this nozzle tool. So I have this on the blowing mode. Now you can open and close this to change the pressure. So this shoots air out the end there. It also shoots it out on the two holes on either side here. 
I think that's to reduce the pressure. So with this tool, I can get in cracks and crevices. I can go up here in the dash. I can go in here and blow dust out. So I'll do that before I vacuum. So next I'm going to clean the mats here and I'll be using the brush tool. So I'm going to switch it from the inflate to vacuum on the vacuum cleaner. So I'll switch this from blow to suck. Next, I'll switch to the crevice tool. So the back's obviously not limited to cars. So I have this square of carpet here. It came with the house. It's old, it's gross, but I'm going to use one of the floor tools here and we'll clean it up a little bit. So this has two modes. It has the brushes will pop out if you press this. So I'm thinking that will be for smooth floors and this will be for carpet. So I'm really impressed with the power of this. This is not a huge opening here, but for most of the leaves on my garage floor, I had enough suction to suck them up and break them down so they could get through the tube. So I sucked up the largest of the leaves just with this and then used this tool here. And I was curious how much was actually getting stuck in the brushes and not being sucked down and really just only a couple seeds here. So let's see what it picked up. So here we can see it here. So this ring can come out here and this can be emptied. So that's the Prolux wet dry garage vac. Now I only just touched on the use cases for this. There are tons of tools in here, different brushes. There's the large floor tool, inflators. I also only use the dry portion, but you can also vacuum up wet things with this and do carpet extraction. So I'll be covering that in a separate video and I'll put a link below to that video when I have it published. So big thanks to Prolux for sending this out. I'm looking forward to getting all my cars cleaned up not only for aesthetic reasons, but it can really help them last longer if you don't have all that grit and grime in your carpets and seats. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.